Hello everybody, this is Arvid and today I want to show you how to install Firebase to your application using Cocoa Pods. So let's jump right into it. Cocoa Pods helps you to install frameworks to your application using a pod file. All you have to do is enter this command into the terminal which will install Cocoa Pods. While it is installing, let's head over to Xcode and create a new project. Let's call this Firebase 101 and create it. Now head over to firebase.google.com and go to the console and create a new project here as well. Let's call this Firebase Create. Let's add an iOS app. Enter the bundle ID from Xcode, so let's copy this and paste it here. Add the app. Now a google.plist file will be downloaded, which you will need to put into your app structure. So let's do this. Head over to Xcode, open your download directory, and drag the plist file into the structure. You can copy items if needed. And let's go back to Firebase. These are all the steps which are needed to do to install Firebase to your application. This is how you configure your app with Firebase, but I'll show you now how to do that. So let's head over to the terminal and go to your app directory. In here you can see the Firebase 101 project. So all you have to do is Go pod init, which will create the pod file, and edit this in your text editor. In the editor, you have to add the frameworks you want to add. So this would be pod firebase, and save this. And after you've saved it, you will write pod install, and this will create the workspaces and the pod files. From now on, you should only use the workspace, not the Xcode project. So heading over to Xcode, closing the current project and opening the workspace, as you can see, you've got the pod project and your original Firebase project. So in the app delegate of your Firebase project, all you have to do is now import Firebase and configure the app. So importing Firebase and in the did finish launching with options, all you have to do is write for app.configure configure and that is all you have to do so if you run this now so now you should get all the firebase messages in the log output and as you can see firebase analytics is enabled and it has successfully connected to firebase this is how you connect firebase to your application and please check out the other tutorials on my channel thanks for watching